sorry about the old lockdown haircut. Nobody can go and get a haircut at the moment. We're all confined to barracks. Um, so I'm amusing myself with this um, recording studio and playing some silly things on the guitar. Uh, previously, I uh, said that it's possible to edit the sound effects on the Boss BR 800. So I have um, started to uh, try and replicate the sounds of some absolutely classic bits of rock guitar. And like a fool, I decided to start with the most difficult sound to replicate. Um, I don't think I've got it quite exactly right, but it's me trying to make a sound like Mark Knopfler from Dire Straits on Money for Nothing. That's an absolutely epic and completely recognisable piece of uh, music, even the way I played it, I think, just about. Um, I've been trying to understand the format of the sound effects and, and all of the files that, that the BR-800 saves, because what I was hoping to do was to create a little um, website or something with a, a bank of sounds that I could just pull down or share with anybody that wanted to, uh, to, to take what I've constructed and uh, possibly enhance it themselves. Unfortunately, the format that um, BOSS use in uh, saving the files is something completely proprietary to their own software that's, that's in this machine, and it defies any kind of um, um, deconstruction. I, I, can't, I can't work out. It's certainly not any kind of XML format or anything that's sort of Microsoft standard, like an Excel file or anything like that. So um, I'm just going to have to basically write down all of the settings that I've got and maybe store them in some kind of a database and then people can replicate those manually. What you heard in the introductory riff was as it was recorded on the BR-800. Um, the, the little speakers that I've got here are, are not really um, up, to the, up to the standard that uh, uh, would, would allow you to tell how well I've done with this, this thing anyway. And besides which, the microphone in that little camera is, is really just a very small mono microphone so it's really not going to do justice to the to the sound but i hope if you've got a decent set of headphones on that, that um, even over the internet it might give you some idea of, of what's possible okay so the first thing i've done is that i've found a preset effect and i've copied it to one of the song bank effects in this case s02 and i've renamed it uh, not fla just so that i know who it's supposed to be trying to rep replicate. Um, I can't remember which of the preset sound banks it was, but it was something that was sort of with a bit of heavy crunch on it. But I've changed so many things about this that I'm going to have to write all the, the settings down and put them on a, um, a, a screen that you can freeze if you particularly want to, to, um, to see all the settings that I've got. What I've got on here is um, the compressor limiter is switched on, the wah is switched on, there's an amplifier selected, uh, graphic equaliser and uh, noise suppression. So um, I won't go through this in laborious detail, but if we press enter on that, you can see compressor is on and it's a boss comp, boss compressor. The wah pedal is on and it's, it's um, in touch mode, type LPF, I have no idea what that means. And polarity down, I've tried with polarity up, I've tried with all sorts of things, but um, that one seems to be more or less what I want. I'll write all these, these things down. We haven't got any distortion on. Um, we've got a, a speaker which is, um, I think, replicating a Marshall high gain speaker. And we have equalizer with lots of um, gain on the low end and lots of gain on the high end and not very much in the middle. And we've got noise suppressor on, but with a pretty low threshold. We want a little bit of background noise. Um, modulation is off and delay is off. And the effect of all that um, is de designed to make sure that when we get these notes, you can hear that kind of you know, lovely low beating reverberation that you get from the bass end. And uh, there's a little bit of wah on there as well, which I think you could just about hear. 
Um, it's quite subtle, it's quite gentle, and we do want um, the right kind of amplifier because what we want to be able to do is replicate these, these harmonics which pop into this thing. Um, and those are all part of the Knopfler um, recognisable sound. <laughs> 